This video tutorial is on how to answer questions number five and six of your physics workbook. If we take a look at example number five, we first have to draw a schematic diagram of what the circuit would look like. Because this circuit is a series circuit, according to the question, we will draw both our 50 ohm and 80 ohm resistor in series. Because we haven't learned the symbol for an AC power adapter, we'll represent the voltage using a battery. It's always important to label everything in your diagram to make sure you haven't missed any information from the question. Voltmeter, ammeter, and a switch that turns off the entire circuit. A voltmeter is always connected in parallel to the circuit around each resistor. Because an ammeter measures current, we always put it in series with the circuit itself. Don't forget that in a series circuit, that the current throughout each resistor stays the same because there's only one path for electrons to flow, and the voltage can vary depending on our resistors. You can put the switch anywhere in the circuit as long as the switch open will break the circuit. The next part of the question asks you to determine the total resistance. Because this is a series circuit, the total resistance is determined by adding the resistance of each resistor. So in this question, we'll add 50 plus 80, which gives us a total resistance of 130 ohms. The next part of the question asks to determine the total current in the circuit, in which we have to use Ohm's law. Our voltage is given in the question, which is 18 volts. The resistance we just calculated is 130 volts. And if we rearrange this equation to find current, current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. If we plug that into our calculator, what we get is 0 0.13846 amperes, or amps, which rounded to three significant digits is 0 0.138 amps. The fourth part of this question asks, does the current through each resistor change in a series circuit? And what is the current running through the 80 ohm resistor? Because in a series circuit, the currents only have one pathway to flow. If there's 10 electrons, there's always 10 electrons running through each resistor. In this case, the total current in the circuit is 0 0.138 amps, so that is how many electrons are running per second through the 80 ohm resistor. The final part of this question says what would happen to the circuit if the 50 ohm resistor burnt out? And remember, in a series circuit, if one goes out, they all go out. Now we can move on to the question below, which asks us to determine the voltage across the 50 ohm and then the voltage through the 80 ohm resistor. Because current stays the same through each resistor, don't forget that current and voltage would be opposite, so the voltage through each resistor is different. So we will first start with the first resistor, which has a resistance of 50 ohms. Because current doesn't change, we will use the current from the previous question to determine the voltage. If we plug that into our calculator, we should get 6.9 volts. Don't forget that when doing this math, you should try and use the unrounded answer from your calculator to avoid rounding errors. We can now look at the resistance through the second resistor, which is the 80 ohm resistor. Because current doesn't change, we'll use the same current as we did before. And if we plug that into our calculator, we should get 11.0 volts. Now if we add our two voltages together, 6.9 volts plus 11 volts is 17.9 volts. This isn't the same as the 18 volts we started with because we rounded our answers in between. So we will now look at Ohm's Law example 6 in our workbooks. This question is different from the question above because we're now looking at a parallel circuit with two 1.50 volt DC cells connected in series. So to begin our diagram, it's always easiest to start with our batteries because we have two cells 
we will draw two batteries and they are connected in series. Our two resistors in this question are connected in parallel, so they will have to go on separate branches of our circuit. Remember to always label information given in the question into our picture. Because there are two 1.5 volt batteries, we must add the two voltages together, or 2 times 1.5, which gives us a total voltage of 3.0 volts. Our first resistor has a resistance of 500 ohms, and the second resistor has a resistance of 1,000 ohms. Just like before, the voltmeter always goes parallel to the circuit and around each resistor. Because current is not the same through every branch of our circuit, we must use three ammeters. The first ammeter will measure total current, and the second two ammeters will measure the number of electrons that pass through each branch of our circuit. And a switch that would turn off the entire circuit could be placed here. The first question, the question then asks us to determine the total resistance of the circuit. Because this is a parallel circuit, we must use the formula 1 over total resistance equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. If we punch that into our calculator, we will get that 1 over the total resistance is 3 over 1,000. Don't forget that this part can be tricky. In order to find the total resistance, we must take the reciprocal of 3 over 1,000, which simply means that you can flip the fraction. If you don't end up with a fraction at this point, in order to find the reciprocal, you can always use the x to the negative 1 button on your calculator. If we divide 1,000 by 3, what we'll end up with is 333 ohms. The next question then asks us to determine the total voltage of the cells, and does it ever change? There's actually a typo in your workbooks. The total voltage should be the two cells added together, which is 3.0 volts. And because this is a parallel circuit, the voltage stays the same, through each branch of the circuit. The next question asks us to determine the total current in the circuit. Current is represented by I. Our total voltage in this question is 3.0 volts, and our total resistance, as we determined above, is 333 ohms. If we rearrange Ohm's law, we will find that current equals voltage divided by resistance, and if we put that into our calculator, we will end up with 0 0.00900 amps. And into scientific notation, this will be 9.01 times 10 to the negative 3 amps. Once again, ignore the answers given in your workbook. The final question. For example, number 6 asks, what would happen to the circuit if the 500 ohm resistor burnt out? Because there's two pathways to flow, the shortcut and the long way, the other resistor would still continue to work. Don't forget to complete the questions in your workbook as well as your assignment package to make sure that you get enough practice and ask your teacher if you have any questions.